You know, it is kind of well known, especially amongst fandom of Quentin Tarantino, that Quentin Tarantino is a massive fan of Michelle Yeoh. And who wouldn't be? Michelle Yeoh is incredible. Not only is she a world-class actress, she is one of the, I'll go as far as to say, she's the best female, female action star of all time. She's amazing. And whatever she appears in, it heightens it. Oh, she's a Bond girl, dude. And she's also a Bond girl. She was amazing just in, this year. She was amazing in Shang-Chi. And then she starred in my favorite film of the year, Everything Everywhere All at Once, in which I think she's going to get, eh, we still got some movies to see, but right now I'm guessing she's going to get a Best Actress nomination for that. So over the years, knowing that Michelle Yeoh is such a favorite of Quentin Tarantino's, knowing that Quentin Tarantino was partially inspired to do Kill Bill because of her work in Police Story 3, a lot of people have asked over the years, well, why hasn't, wasn't Michelle Yeoh in Kill Bill? Like, why didn't you put her in it? Now, she was recently being interviewed and somebody asked her that exact question. And they said, you know, what they brought up, like, you know, why didn't Tarantino put you in Kill Bill? To which Michelle Yeoh said the following. She said this. I asked Quentin the same question, Yeoh said in her Town & Country cover interview via Entertainment Weekly. He's very smart. And he said this. Who would believe that Uma Thurman could kick your ass? <laughs> what a perfect answer. And you know what? When I read that, I immediately thought, and that wasn't just Tarantino saying something to, to be nice. Like, that is how Tar Tarantino's brain works, right? Like, he's such a, he so reveres Michelle Yeoh that his first thought was, and I'm sure he would, would have loved to put her in that movie, but his first thought was, Nobody who knows anything about cinema is going to believe for one second that Uma Thurman or anybody for that matter is just going to straight up come on in and kick Michelle Yeoh's ass. Uh, it was a great answer. You heard about this. What did you think? I love this answer so much because when you start to think about it, of course, he was absolutely right. Because you'd have to put her in a compromising position. Not only would no one believe it, as a director, Quentin Tarantino would never probably put her in a position where she would lose. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, unless it was she would lose and then come back and kick someone's ass right. and win in the end. Classic kung fu cinema. Y yeah, 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 you couldn't do it. And and I, I, can, I can totally, I can totally see that. I, that. I believe that 100%. You know what's interesting? We were talking about that, and fact checker Jonathan brought something up before the show, and he said... Uh, that's good, Quentin, but uh, people are going to believe that Brad Pitt could kick Bruce Lee's ass. <laughs> okay, yes, but that wasn't Bruce Lee in the movie with him, like, right? That, that wasn't actually Bruce right. Lee. That was Brad Pitt, the actor, but as a different character. And it was, was a fairy fun. tale anyway. It was a fairy tale. Was, the movie was called Once Upon a Time. But I'll, I'll tell you what, though, when I read that Quentin Tarantino quote about who's going to believe that Uma Thurman or anybody is going to kick your ass, my, I instantly went to, my mind went to uh, Fast Five. Because as much as I love Fast Five, and I do, I love Fast Five. I do too. But even coming right out of the theater, I'm like, who's going to believe Vin Diesel could beat The Rock? Or who would believe that even Dominic Toretto, uh, a slightly jacked up car mechanic, is going to beat Agent Hobbs, a <laughs> lifelong government operative? <laughs> that just, you know, I love that movie. I love that movie. I love Vin. I love The Rock. But that was the first thing my mind went to. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about that Quentin Tarantino comment saying, yeah, I, I could put you, Michelle Yeoh, in this movie because no one's going to believe that our lead hero was going to be able to kick your ass. I actually kind of love it. I actually kind of well, love, love it that too. he said that. How do you guys feel about that? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this episode, Upside. Guys, from cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts, and it really hurts. And that's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody who buys groceries, gas, or dines out. With every purchase, you are earning cash back thanks to Upside. And guys, believe me, I know. You hear about apps like this, and it turns out you have 40 or 50 hoops you have to jump through, but believe me, Upside is super easy to use. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's not. I've used it, and it works. Upside is a no-brainer. To get started, download the free Upside app, use my promo code CAMPIASHOW, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside, check in at 
at the business, pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. So guys, download the free Upside app and use the promo code CAMPIASHOW to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using the promo code CAMPIASHOW.